is a totally impromptu video. I follow a, a, a writer, a, a journalist on Twitter by the name of Richard Barrow, who uh, posts a lot of stuff on Twitter about Bangkok and, and Thailand. And I like him. He's a good writer. Uh, Twitter is a tough platform to write on. It's a pretty contentious place. And he does a pretty good job of uh, being unbiased. All writers, like myself, we can't help but insert a little bit of uh, of what we write of ourselves into what we write about, but he does a pretty good job. So uh, he just posted an invitation to go to the uh, Foreign Correspondence Club of Bangkok. Uh, there's a, it's an, an art exhibition and free admission. That's an important aspect of it, and it's happening like now. I got to get going to get there uh, by the time it opens up at six thirty. And I just thought it might make an interesting video. So with no preparation, I fired up my camera. And I'm going to go see how amenable correspondents are to uh, talking to YouTube guys. Let's go see what this is all about. It might be fun. So my collection of Siamese squatters are in uh, kickback and casual mode. Probably not even very happy that I'm pointing a camera at them. What you cooking? Sota. Oh, yeah? Isan food. Isan food, right. I'm leaving. You can stink up the house with Isan food. <laughs> Goodbye, kiddo. Bye-bye, Winter. Bye. That, that child is terrified of me. <laughs> uh, BTS Akamai. Chai, check up. I just exited the BTS line at the Bronchit station, which takes me to the Amarin building, a very well-known landmark here in the central Sukhumvit area. I think it's most well-known for its very popular McDonald's over there. But right alongside of it is a, a very impressive shrine. I like this kind of imagery, this uh, green effigy sitting in a half lotus with multiple arms. I have no idea its, its story behind it. But my guess is it would have its roots in Hinduism, you know, updated a little bit for the more Buddhist Thai folks. It's just spectacular imagery as far as I'm concerned. So I'm uh, at this uh, uh, very impressive shrine looking for the Barnes Correspondence Club and Google's telling me to go this way. I found one of the most challenging aspects of living in Southeast Asia was finding directions. Uh, it's worse in some countries than in others. Uh, I'd say Thailand is middle of the road in terms of its, uh, you know, location finding problems. So Google is telling me I'm standing in front of the uh, Foreign Correspondence Club, so it's most likely in this building which is by the Renaissance Hotel, which is a landmark that you could find. Oh, it has a pool table. That's uh, good for a correspondence club. Hello. They're playing uh, baby boomer music. And there are no shortages of my contemporaries here. Hello. So. Yeah, it's uh, everything that you might expect a correspondence club to be, I suppose. Never been in one before. Well, has that look to it. I can see this is a setting for, you know, a movie about correspondence. So here's one of the really interesting people I just ran into. This is Jonathan Head, who's a, a principal correspondent for the BBC here in Thailand or Southeast Asia. Yeah, well, it's really a pleasure, pleasure to meet you. Jonathan just shared a lot of his insights into some of the global conflicts that everybody's talking about right now, and I do appreciate it. And that's all we're talking about. You know, we're here in Thailand, but of course, events yeah. in Ukraine dominate all of our thinking, pretty much everything we do every day, we're focused on that. Yeah, yeah. And, I, and it's such an important event and so big that it will, of course, inv invariably affect this region eventually, even though this is obviously a long way from where things are happening at the moment. And I just overheard you in your conversation say that you might be uh, heading to Ukraine, is that so? It's likely. You know, they, I think all news organizations 
yeah, they, they, people working get tired very quickly. It's a very rough environment to work in, so um, it's almost inevitable I will go there at some point in the next few weeks. I appreciate you spending yeah. saying a few words with me. Thank That's you. My pleasure. Good to meet you. My pleasure. So it's really nice to meet the gentleman that uh, I've been following on Twitter now for quite a while, and I enjoy his writing. And he's, uh, his invitation here to come to the uh, Foreign Correspondence Club was what prompted the video and my trip here. And here he is. Richard Barr. Hi. Yeah, it's, it's nice to meet you as well. I do appreciate you, what you put on Twitter. It's a very contentious platform. And, and you're quite the gentleman when you post on it. Right. And you put a lot of good information on it. I try to put stuff that I'm interested in. Anything I, I'm interested in, or think my friends are interested in, I would post yeah, pass information on to other people. Basically. It's a pleasure to meet you. Yeah, you too. Uh, this is the second time that we've had an opportunity to have uh, Headache Stencil show his uh, amazing art at the club. It's all that I create. The concept is wall pie. For me, wall pie for me is meaning like, because now, have many violet in this world. Ostensibly, the purpose of tonight's uh, event is an art show. And it's starting to get noisy in here, and they're playing music that will get me in trouble on YouTube. So I'm just doing, going to do a quick walkthrough, and then I'll close out with a few still photographs. Highlighting these uh, works of art. They look, some of them look quite nice. And yeah, this is a nice find for me. I can join this club. You don't have to be a correspondent. And it looks like a good place to... Uh, to come and uh, get to know people and maybe get some good information about Thailand and the region. And I think this is the artist here. They're still setting up. So yeah, this is a fun video. Glad I got to make it. I'll put a few uh, still photographs at the end here so you can see the art. Thanks for watching.